Kula to we ito, mano guru. Oma ya guru, e go go. Ah he go. Is it wine that finished? Is it money that finished? Is it health that finished? Is it joy that finished? What has finished in your life? Somebody was telling me yesterday with tears. I went to a baptism at Ituku, and somebody from far away traveled and pursued us to that place. I told the lady, please, we are not doing adult baptism here. He said, Father, please, listen. Listen to me. The family she came from is finished. This person died a month after the other one died. The other one died three weeks before the other one died. The son died. The other person died. The brother died. That the whole company is filled with graves. And as she is now, she's afraid that it will be her turn soonest. That even to enter their compound, everybody is afraid. Very shocking bad news is that even those who ran away, we will still die there and their corpse will be brought home. So where do you run to? That one decided to run to St. Anthony's Church. So life is finishing in that family. Something finished. Many of us here, the, 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 the passion for the word of God has finished. It's not something you just uh, make up your mind, make a resolution from today. I will begin to read the Bible. Blah, blah. You are just wasting your time. What is spiritual is spiritual. What is emotional is emotional. What is physical is physical. The issue with the word of God and keeping it and even loving it is spiritual. And the Bible says no one can lay hands on anything unless it's given from above. And he who comes from above is above all, both in prominence and in excellence. If the passion for the world has finished, what about passion for holiness? What about passion for prayer? What about hunger for fasting? What about hunger for staying in the presence of God? What is still remaining even? A lot of things has finished. So we are running to Jesus and the mother Mary to pray for a miracle of shocking divine provision. What we are lacking, God can supply. For Psalm 23 verse 1 is our shepherd. There's nothing we shall lack. In a time of hopelessness like this, God is there to supply all our needs abundantly according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Philippians 1.19